Now, I know it might sound crazy to you, but optimized attachments are not always the best choice. Sometimes you may find traditional attachments working better than optimized ones. Let's take a look at this uh, lateral open bite. In this clean check, we try to close the open bite by upper teeth extrusion. As you can see, the tooth that needs the most extrusion is the upper lateral. So, we plan to extrude that tooth in the clean check, right? But remember that little sentence in the lower left corner of your clean check windows? It says, simulation of dental movement. Actual clinical results may be different. Which is kind of a way of saying, uh, whatever you see here may not happen at all. Good luck. And right as we were warned, this is what happened. The upper lateral has not extruded as much as we wanted. But why? I mean, all the other upper teeth have much or less followed the extrusion. So why won't this echo of a tooth move? Now, take a look at the video. Now I just want you to concentrate on the movement of extrusion of that upper teeth. We need to extrude those teeth a lot, as you can see from the alignment sequence. Keep in mind that extrusion is one of the most difficult movements to get from aligners, as they tend to detach from the tooth when exerting the extrusion force. In fact, in order to get a more predictable extrusion, we often use attachments on those teeth that can be either optimized extrusion attachments or traditional attachments. When you see four optimized extrusion attachments like these placed in a row on all four incisors, you are seeing the optimized multi-tooth extrusion attachment. These are attachments that are very carefully planned and positioned by a multi-million dollar software. And all of its full potential is focused on placing the right optimized attachments in the right spot on the teeth you need to move. Unluckily, and this is the first part per rule of the course, Optimized attachments are absolutely not guaranteed to work. And I'm not just talking about the fact that they might not perform the tooth's movement as planned. I'm talking about the fact that sometimes traditional attachments work even better than optimized ones. Even if the multi-million dollar software automatically places optimized attachments on that tooth. And I'll prove that to you right now. Let's go back to the case we were analyzing. Well now, it's refinement time, as the first set of aligners did not make the movements we were expecting. As you can see, we've chosen to leave the old attachments on site instead of polishing them off. This is a time-saving procedure but not optimal if you need difficult tooth movement. In fact, we have promptly polished the upper lateral, waiting for a brand new attachment to come. The first refinement clean check suggests an extrusion with a different kind of optimized attachment. But you know, we already tried with optimized attachment and I don't know, they just don't seem to work well here. So we chose a different approach. This time, we removed the optimized attachments chosen by the software and try to think by ourselves about the movement needed by that tooth. If we watch it from a different perspective, we will see that upper lateral is also rotated. So we choose to split the movement and use two different traditional attachments for different needs. In the first phase, we will take care of the rotation of the tooth, 
which will be carried out with a traditional vertical rectangular attachment. And we precisely ask in the comments to carry out the derotation movement first, with that specific attachment. Note that this traditional vertical attachment has its greater surface orthogonal to the movement direction. This way, the aligner will be able to push on that surface and therefore to move the tooth. After completing the derotation, we remove the vertical attachment and we place a traditional rectangular horizontal one. Just to get the extrusion we want. Again, we plan to get the attachment's bigger surface orthogonal to the movement direction we need. We can now carry out the extrusion movement needed. You can easily plan all these movements by saying it in the comment, and the technician will take care of planning them. This strategy has worked well, as the upper lateral has extruded, and the patient is now happy. So am I. So remember, optimized attachments might be put in place by a multi-million dollar software, but they don't always work better than traditional ones.